Hello everyone. The other day I received this comment on the speech recognition video asking if I could do text re recognition instead, uh, which is something like uploading an image and then having the text from the image get extracted out. And I think I have something working for this. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take a look at this. Uh, so to get started, we're just going to come over to our terminal. We'll just do a Rails new video. We want to pass in a uh, a dash J of ES build, a dash C of bootstrap, and then we want to CD into that project. So to actually do uh, the speech recognition, we're going to need a couple things. Uh, the first thing that we need is a uh, active storage install. So let's go ahead and let's do that because we need to upload images. So we're going to start with a Rails active storage colon install. We then want to create a post model. We'll say Rails. G. We'll actually do a scaffold for this, so scaffold for a post. Uh, we'll give the post a title of type string, a body of type text, and an image underscore description of type text. This is just the thing that we're going to be putting the text that we extract out of the image uh, into. Weird English there. Uh, but I just wanted a place to store it so that we can put it in like the back end and, and take a look at it. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. After we do that, we now need to do a Rails G stimulus because we're going to be using JavaScript for this. So we want to generate a uh, OCR controller. It's just what I'm calling it. You can call it whatever you'd like to. So that takes care of that. The next thing we have to do is uh, I have to actually open up my notes for this because we have to add the dependency that we're going to be using for this. So to actually do the OCR, we're going to be using a library called Tesseract.js. If you're not familiar, Tesseract.js is a wrapper around Tesseract, which is a open source uh, library that you can use for this. So I can, if I ignore my RuneScape search history here, uh, if I look for t uh, Tesseract OCR JavaScript, uh, we can see right here we have the Tesseract.js, and then we can also look for just the OCR is this one right here. I have a link to each of these in the video description. The general purpose Tesseract, which comes in a bunch of different uh, wrappers. They have a list of wrappers somewhere on here, uh, but it, it was like a huge selection. They have like Python, they have Ruby wrappers. The Ruby wrapper as usual is uh, pretty out of date. That's why I'm not covering it. But there is a gem for that. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff here. So we're gonna be using the JavaScript implementation of it because it seems to work just fine. So to do that, we do our yarn add Tesseract that adds it to our package.json. So I'll go ahead and open this up in VS Code real quick Come over here. And now we should be good to go. So the next step that we want to do is uh, we want to pop into our model. So we'll come into app models in our post.rb. Let me control plus a couple times. In our post model, this has to has one attached image, which is going to be for our image that we're parsing. In our controllers, in our post controller, we can come down to the bottom. Down here, we just need to permit the image parameter. We can then come into our post form, which is going to be in app views posts and underscore form. And then here is where we have to hook up our stimulus controller and do a couple of other things. So to hook up the stimulus controller is pretty simple. We come into our form up here right after the post. We do a comma data colon inside of some braces. We set the controller to be OCR. Uh, the next thing we have to do after this is we have to add in the actual form uh, or the actual upload file field thing, right? So for that, we're going to copy our body. We'll just paste it right here. We're going to change this to be image. We're going to change the text area to be image. And this is actually going to be a file field, just like that. And then we have to give it some data, which is going to be a comma data colon inside of some braces. We can then close the braces. We have an OCR target, which is going to be file. So inside of our target stimulus or inside of our OCR stimulus controller, we have a target, which we're naming file. So inside of the OCR uh, stimulus controller, we can then call OCR target uh, file or whatever to get access to this. Uh, we'll take a look at what that means in a minute. The other thing we have to do is set up an action, which we can do like an on click or an on change or whatever. In this case, we're going to be doing a change with an arrow. The arrow just says on change, do this. And we want to do the OCR controller and the upload action. So this is just like a Rails uh, you know, a controller action, except here it's just a JavaScript uh, OCR upload action, right? Now that we have that, we have two options. The first is a hidden input for the image description, which we can do right here. 
uh, this will allow you to do what we're going to do here, uh, but the user can't see it. So we'll just leave it like this. Now to actually do this for the one that the user can see, we have this text area for the image description. We're gonna do a comma for some data, another OCR target, but we're gonna call this one the image description. So this is going to allow us to have a form on the page that has the text put into it. So if I come over here and I do a uh, gem install foreman, because I probably forgot to do that again, and then I do a bin slash dev, and I come over here and go to, oops, go to localhost port 3000 slash posts. We come here, hopefully this will work. Uh, this is trying to go to the wrong location. I have to go to port 3000 without the HTTPS. There we go, we can run our pending migrations. So now on this page, I'm gonna come into the application.html.erb file real quick, and I'm going to do a .container.mt-5, just like that, and I'm gonna wrap it all around there. That way we can uh, have this, oops, have this a little bit easier to read. So we can give it a title and a body. We then have to choose an image, uh, which right now isn't gonna work. Once we choose the image though, it'll take the text that it reads from it and put it into this little text box. So that's option number one. Option number two with the hidden input is just gonna have it on the page, uh, but you're not gonna see it as the user unless you open up like your web dev tools or whatever. So let's give this a shot. But to give this a shot, we have to make sure that we actually set up our stimulus controller. So let's come into our app, our JavaScript, our controllers, and our OCR controller. Instead of our OCR controller, we have to set up our targets, which we do with a static targets, and we just pass in the, the names of the targets that we put in there. So in our form, we have our file target and our image description target. In our connect method, we really don't have to do anything except maybe console.log and say that we've connected this controller. So if I hit control, oops, if I hit control shift I, and refresh, we'll see hello stimulus down here. And you can see uh, that this dot element correlates to the entire form because that's what the stimulus controller is attached to. So now that we have that, we can do our upload event, right? Because we made that, we said on change, do the upload event. So in the upload event, the first thing we're gonna do is prevent default, just to stop the form from submitting for whatever reason. We then want to get the file from this dot file target, which is this file target right here, which correlates to the file field because we have the file target on here. So when we say this dot file target, we're actually grabbing this file field and then we're grabbing the first file attached to it, which is the image we uploaded. We then create a file reader, which we need to do some of this other magic. Okay, and now on here, what we're gonna do is an onload. And then in this, what we want to do is, uh, actually we're gonna change this a little bit. We're gonna do a event instead. And then in here, we're going to have a tesseract, which means we have to include it. So up here, we'll do a quick little import tesseract from wherever. We're then going to do a tesseract.recognize. And then we want to do the event.target.result. We're passing that in so that we can actually get a reference to it. We can then do a English, and then we can pass in some other stuff. What we can do in here is do a console log so you can see everything that's happening. After we do that, we can then do a dot then with some data, which takes in the text, and then we can come down here and hopefully close all of this. Uh, and then right here, we would also need another one right there. Inside of our dot then, what we can do is say this dot image description, which is our target right here, target, dot value is equal to text. So that's why we set up this other target. So what we're saying here is set the image description target, which is this text area, set its value to be equal to the text that we just got out of our image. We get the image by grabbing it from the file field right here and using the reader here. Now you're probably wondering where's the, uh, the file reader getting used or where's the file getting used? And that's gonna happen after this reader dot on load we're gonna do a reader.read as array buffer for the file, and that's pretty much it. We can now come over here and refresh, do a test in the body, a case, or a test in the title, a case in the body. We'll come over here, we will uh, just print screen this question. Okay, and now we can click choose file, come over to our downloads and download this file. You can see here in the console, uh, because we're logging this out, remember right here with the logger, you can see every step of the way that the stuff got logged out. You can see the progress of the uh, character reader right here. And then at the end, you can probably see 
that we have something in our body. If we do this, we can see right here, could you do something similar, but with text recognition instead, like it translates an image following a template into text. We can of course see right here, this is the same thing as what's in the uh, comment section right here. Uh, it even gets the name. So if you wanted this to follow a template, what I would suggest is have some form of a template image. It'll extract the information from it. And then you would just remove the portion of the text that you didn't like anymore uh, by just parsing this text. But if we click create post now, you'll see that gets submitted just like that. And it works pretty much out of the box without any custom training or anything else, which is really cool. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. I thought this was a really cool uh, little use case. And I really like that it's open source and just runs on your machine just like that, uh, as opposed to needing to use either an API or needing a whole bunch of training data because you're building out your own custom solution. I thought this was really neat uh, and a pretty succinct video. So hopefully you got something out of this and hopefully I will see you in the next tutorial.